I'm here in the woods near Villanelle, Georgia, and this is the spot where I've chosen to install my new work, which I'm calling The Woods Are Watching. It's part of my new body of work called Crayon Portraiture. And it builds upon things I've done in the past, such as the Jordan's Journey Project and the Intersection Project. But this is something totally new, totally different, and I'm really branching out into um, some new territory. And that's why I'm really excited about the project. The, the banner you see behind me is uh, something I made from uh, an antique crayon portrait of uh, one of my ancestors who actually lived right in this area and that's uh, part of the reason I chose this site. What you gonna try first, the metal one? So I've enlarged it uh, many, many times. Um, it was just the eyes, and it was originally um, much smaller. And so that digital enlargement process is very much uh, a key part of what this is about, and that ties in with the historical aspect of the crayon portrait medium, which is what the original image was, um, and it was a type of enlargement. And I've taken that further in the 21st century with uh, digital techniques uh, to enlarge it even many times beyond uh, the original uh, object. It's sort of about how nature and the environment is a living, breathing thing and it's kind of watching us all the time even though we don't think of it that way, necessarily. And it's also about the, uh, the very personal gene genealogical aspect that this is where my ancestors are from. They worked this land, they roamed these forests uh, generations ago. My family lived in this area since before the Civil War, going back uh, at least eight generations, I've counted on one line. And that's the kind of thing that I explored in Jordan's journey and really detail uh, how those collective memories uh, influence uh, the present and who we are. And so I wanted to, in a totally different way, explore uh, those ideas uh, but engage more with the environment, with the landscape uh, directly here in the forest uh, and come into the woods and into that dark place where the sun, you know, right now it's kind of shining through the trees here and it creates a really beautiful light and uh, that will change throughout the day, throughout the seasons as this work remains uh, uh, in situ here on the site and uh, I'm excited about it and I can't wait to see um, what it turns into and where it goes and how that meaning kind of takes root. Uh, into the forest and becomes something new and uh, that's that's the work here we are